Hello everybody, it's JB here and it's not a very nice video to, to start the day off on my flight parade. I mean, with, it's been a terrible few years for my childhood more than anything else. As people know, I'm 40 in the end, at the end of the, at the, end of the week, but uh, um, it feels like a lot of the childhood in this last week is gone. First we lost Sticky Davis at the start of, at the end of the week. End of last week, age 94, now we've lost John Motson today, just now. Um, these two people were mainly the reasons I got into enjoying sport and watching sport on television because uh, I wanted and I sort of wanted to become a commentator um, partly because of them two. Of course, there was Barry Davis and Brian Moore and a few others that uh, that helped to work it as well in deciding what I wanted to do in the future uh, in, in the regards sport. I was never good enough to play it, and uh, you know. But uh, Dickie Davis, we'll start with him first, he died first, unfortunately. He was a terrific presenter, a real smile on his face, he had warmth and friendliness. Someone that today's sports broadcasters so sadly lack. Um, you, know, you know, he had a warmth about him. You know, I remember him mainly for snooker and boxing. Uh, I'm not old enough to remember the world of sport, really, because I was about two when they took it off the air. So. But uh, I know a bit about World of Sport, having delved into it a little bit more the last few days, you know, they used to do really rubbish sports like cliff diving and things like that, and he used to present them with such gusto. And there's a video on doing the rounds on Twitter, and it includes uh, a tribute video that ITV put together that uh, includes him with a few clips with the great Derek Morecambe. And if you haven't seen it, it's, uh, I'd suggest you go on their Twitter feed and watch it, because it's a, it's a really, really good video. Um, they, do, they do a sports, but they do well as a sport together, and uh, they just it's just absolutely funny. I mean, if, if Ernie had gone before Eric, I think uh, Dickie would have made a good standing, you know, if uh, Ernie had been ill. But uh, no, it was very, it's very funny, and of course, he was remembered for the cop soccer thing. But uh, no, great presenter, great warm, great friendliness, and that's what got me into television sport in a little way it's because I used to watch him present big fights and snooker and stuff like that and I think I remember him doing darts at one point uh, but I was a young toddler and I, I, I wasn't interested in cartoons I was interested in sport and and that was one of my first reminiscence just watching Dickie Davis uh, great man great personality um, very easy going a bit like Des Lyman was so yeah very very sad day and then after all that today what a sad day this is john motson um you know i think i probably spent half my life listening to him commentate on big football matches for bbc it's you know it's gonna be weird now not having you know it's been weird not he hearing him on match of the day for the last sort of four or five years but now we're never going to hear from him again it's Wow, it's really mind-numbing. I mean, that's going to be when we've lost. I mean, Motti, Motti's achieved a lot in his career. He, he's, he died 77, but he was quite a fit and healthy man, and I can't understand why he's died at that age um, without knowing the full details. But uh, it's uh, it's terribly sad. We've lost two. Big giants in broadcasting. Motti, I, I, I will say a little bit about Motti. I said a bit about Dickie Davis. I'm going to say a bit about John Motti as well. Motti was a commentator and a half. I still think he wasn't my favourite commentator, funnily enough. Brian Moore was my favourite. And I was sad when he passed. And, you know, Barry Davis has to be up there too. But those three voices were my childhood of growing watching football on television. Those three alone, and maybe a bit of Alan Parry as well. And in recent years, we've had Tilsley and all that. Lot. But Motti was a, but a big game. You know, Motti was, Motti was great. You know, he's a good. Yeah. You know. The only trouble, the only problem I had with Motti at the time was, he would he would garnish a game with about fifty thousand stats and stuff. It was like there'd be a Motti fact, and I'm like, come on, Motti, let me watch the game. You know what I mean? But yeah, he was a good commentator. Knew when the drama was right to raise his voice in. And he would come up with a good one-liners. I mean, people associate Barry Davis with the one-liners. But Motti had his fair share too. And uh, 
he was a great, great commentator. Um, you know, it was a shame his last visit to Turf Moor was a nil-nil between Brighton and between us and Burnley a few years ago. I, I, I actually went to the same game as Motti. I never got to meet him, unfortunately. But if I had got to meet him, I would have asked him a few more questions. Um, but uh, Motti was Motti was a great, great commentator, great raconteur, and he had a terrific turn of phrase, and he had a sense of humour too. Um, just a great commentator, and we've lost two great giants of sports television today, Dickie Davis and, and now John Motson. It's uh, it's really sad, and, and my thoughts and my prayers go out to the families of Dickie and Motti. Um, it's it's so sad, it's so sad, but uh, there we go. I feel like a massive part of my childhood has gone with the, with the death of these two. Massive, I mean, more so Motti than Dickie, obviously, but because Motti's been there for about three quarters of my life, you know, listening to him broadcasting and things like that, you know. But that's just how it unfortunately is. And, you know, I hope ITV and BBC do specials to these two because these two were just dying and you don't often call you don't often hear me call some people dying but these two were and I think they need to be celebrated with tributes massive better tributes than, than that and than what they, they've had because they need documentaries made about them that's what I think because we need to remember these two these weren't just giants they were icons when you have icons in broadcasting that's when you're onto a winner so my sympathies go to Dickie's family, my sympathies go to John Motson's family. It's 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 really sad, and we'll never hear or see, we'll ever see or hear two broadcasting legends like those two, sadly, ever again.